Hello, my gorgeous Ophiuchus, and welcome to your weekly energy check-in reading. We are just going to jump right in and get started. Um, what I'm kind of seeing here from these jumpers is uh, a lot of you could be coming out of a hermit period, could have been out of a period of hibernation is what I'm hearing. Um, you might be getting ready to stretch your arms and step out back into the world and start having some new experiences. I feel like you've done a lot of building or a lot of growing and healing and expanding behind closed doors throughout your hibernation or your hermit period. And you've come, you're stepping out victorious. You're stepping out um, very accomplished and very proud of what you have done for yourself. I feel like like um, this particular period was expansive um, and I feel like you may be stepping out now um, ready to kind of enjoy the fruits of your labor. It's like enjoying the new you that you've become and you're going to go out and share it with the world. It's kind of what it feels like. It's like breaking out into spring and just stepping out into the world as this brand new flower. I really love it, um, whether masculine or feminine. I feel like you may be looking to uh, step into a new connection. You may be looking for a new soulmate. Um, I feel like you're whole and emotionally fulfilled all on your own. But now I feel like we're stepping out and we're looking to maybe find some new love. Um, we could be ready to step into something new is kind of what I'm feeling. Yeah, going off in search of what might be even more emotionally fulfilling. I really love it. Looking for that missing cup. And I feel like someone is out there holding that missing cup that you're looking for. Um, yeah, no more waiting around. I feel like if you were waiting on a past soulmate, I feel like I feel like you've gotten to the point where you know that if you go out there and you start experiencing things with new soulmates and new people, that's okay. If this person is meant to be in your life, they'll make their way back around and divine will create a space for that person if they're meant to be there. But to put your life on hold would be unwise and I feel like you just know it. You just feel it's time to get out there and have a new experience. I feel like, yeah, it's that balance. I feel like you're really balanced. You've got that one foot on land so you're completely stable. One foot in emotion so you know what you're feeling um i feel like i feel like it's a new dawn new day new energy yeah I, I feel like this might be the week where you step out and start just maybe even just attracting new soulmates like a magnet i feel like because you're very aware that that's what you're looking to do you're looking to go out in search of um someone to share life with I really love it. Um, you could have some, that energy that you're stepping into might have someone coming back in from out of the cold or wanting to. Um, I feel like they might be wanting to be that partner that you make that uh, four of wands happy home with, that passionate, stable, happy home. Yeah, I feel like, I don't know, they're taking a chance, they're taking a gamble. I feel like some... Okay, so you might have been waiting for this specific person and then just decided that we're not going to wait anymore. We're just going to get out there and experience. Maybe this person was looking for a green light that you were actually ready. So there could have been some, I wanted to say miscommunication, but I really feel like it's non-communication. So it could be something like that. And this is just that feeling where it's like, okay, it's time my person that I've really been waiting for is getting out there and they're looking to start dating and I better get in there before somebody else steals my spot. Um, that's kind of what I'm getting from this. Um, I feel like maybe before they were not in the position to share themselves or their energy or they felt that you weren't off of you guess. Maybe they felt that you were pulled back. Um, Let's see. Like I said, I want to say this is miscommunication, but I feel like it's just simply not been communication. I feel like both of you in this situation have had a lot of time to release toxic um, habits or negative mindsets or just beliefs that didn't serve. I feel like... Um, when I feel like just recently those chains have just fallen to the wayside. Um, I feel like you've done big work off of you guys, and I feel like you've got a really beautiful soulmate connection coming in. I feel like, yeah, one that's going to bring happiness. I really love that. You could have someone racing in very, very soon to tell you what they're thinking, what they're feeling. 
Um, and I feel like they're trying to get there before anybody else. I feel like this is someone who's trying to win the race. Um, this person could have been stuck in their head in the past, or you could have been stuck in your head at the past. Oh, wow. But look, they're coming in with that um, romantic offer. I really love this. Yeah, look. Ready to put the work in. Yeah, I feel like this is no more sleepless nights. Um, I don't know if this person was really worried about not having an opportunity to get this up and running with you. They may have missed out on an opportunity in the past and that's that energy. It's like maybe you guys had tried for this a few times and it just fell flat. Maybe third time is the charm. Um, wow. Yeah, look, coming into fruition with that two of cups and then nurturing that energy, seeing a future there. It's like peering into the future that there is um, the opportunity for longevity there. Passionate movement forward. Oh, I really love it. Um, Yeah, we have strength in reverse. But what I heard from this was you are their weakness. It's like... You know, they're strong in every area of their life, but when it comes to you, this person feels weak. Um, but I feel like it's not in a bad way. It's just they know that they love you. This is a person that knows they love you. They want to bring the wish closer to them. Yeah, they want emotional fulfillment. All right, off of you, guess. You could be going off in search of maybe a new opportunity with a new soulmate. And here comes that past soulmate, maybe one you've been waiting for, or this could be a past life soulmate and you've just been waiting for a soulmate to come in. I feel like this is the right person coming in who's looking to have pretty much have it all with you. I really love this. I feel like you could start that this week and maybe come into some type of romantic connection within the next few weeks. I feel like this person is going to be kind of flocking towards your energy because I feel like it's big and it, I feel like it's almost like the switch. Um, you've switched up your energy, you're stepping out and energetically that soulmate feels it. It's like, I just heard it's go time. So, um, really interesting energy. I love that. Exciting. All right. What do we have? Your initials, their initials. If you know this person, some of you may know who this person is. Others of you, this may be a very new person, um, but you'll feel an instantaneous connection with this person. That's that soulmate energy. Um, I heard got the ax. So I don't know if this is a person from the past that you left behind or they got the ax or they felt like they got the ax by you. Could be something along those lines. All right. You might also have two exes coming back. They might be part of the group of soulmates that's kind of coming back in. So it may be two separate people um, as well from the past mixed in with uh, new soulmate opportunities as well. Could be up to four more soulmates coming in. Like I said, I feel like you've got that magnetized energy. It's like um, siren energy. It's like really kind of siren song pulling that. Really what it is, it's your soul song is actually on like <laughs> siren mode and you're pulling in these soulmates. I feel like spirits on deck with you that you're ready to start something new. It's really exciting. The energy is really vibed up. Um, all right. So I'm going to do this here. M and a four stuck out. G, C, 7 E D O A X C. Um, hmm. as a side note, I did hear something about doxing. Just, um, I don't know if you feel that this has happened to you or somebody, I don't want to even put it out there that somebody may be trying to do that. Um, just know that. If this person takes that route, they will be caught and they will be prosecuted and they will face time. Um, and I hear jail time. So 
this is a situation where I feel like somebody may have a chance to do something because they feel like they want to get you back off you guess. Just know that if they try to do this, you will be protected from all harm. And this person will get hit with the full amount of what they deserve for doing something like that. Okay, so we're just going to put that out there. That energy went from super high to super low vibe. So I don't know if it's just someone that may be jealous of you. But if they decide to go that route, I feel like you will be protected. And this person will face big, big consequences for their actions. So um, just letting you know that, that I did see that. So, all right. All right, let's see. What do we have here? I hear they will be caught. Wow. So it's like, even if, yeah, I hear protection, protection, protection. All right. So this is the thing that wants to come in. I feel like protection from harm. I feel like you have ancestors. And I feel like if this person, whoever they are, decides that they want to do something like that, I feel like um, it doesn't matter how far away this person is from you. They won't be able to run far enough from their consequences. Um, and I feel like they won't even have a chance to run because they will get caught immediately. Um, I feel like I feel like spirit's on deck with this, divine is on deck with this, and they're waiting for this person to make their choice because as soon as they do, it's gonna get shut down real fast because I feel like this is a person who has put a bad footprint out there, um, who has actually tried to take down others, and I feel like they're already being watched. I hear surveillance. So if this person steps even a toe out of line, they're ready to take this person down because of the way that they've been maneuvering is uh, underhanded and low-lying. They're already being watched, right? And this would be just adding that last layer of caught them is what I hear. Um, gotcha now is what I hear. So uh, whoever this resonates for, I just want you to know that um, now I don't even know if you will have to report something to the authorities. Um, it may not even go that far for you. You might not even realize that this has happened to you. Um, but just know that you're safe and you're protected from harm. But if you feel like you need to re reach out to the authorities, please do so. Um, you may just be reiterating something that they already know is going on. I just feel like they're so on top of that. I feel like this person is already being watched. Okay. Wow. Crazy energy. Okay. Um, this person feels like they're acting under cover of darkness or that they're hidden. They think they're actually more intelligent than the police. Um, and that is going to be their downfall. They feel like nobody knows what they're doing. Their underlying, under, underhanded behavior is not being seen. Just know that this is going to turn into a spotlight. I'm seeing a flashlight go from really low, somebody hitting it, and going on full blast and lighting everything up. I feel like this person is going to be put on blast, and they're going to get what they deserve. That's really scary. Um, I hope this person decides against it because it will not bode well for this person. Like I said, we have that sun there. It, everything done in the darkness comes to light, period, point blank. This is fair warning. Um, for whoever is resonating with this and thinking about doing something wrong, if you're listening, fair warning. Um, it will not turn out well for you. You will receive the full horror of what you have sown. Okay, so crazy energy, but I feel like that had to get out there like that. So if that's not for you, um, it's not for you. <laughs> okay. Um, I feel like you're going to continue to grow, to bloom, and I feel like you're going to be put in the spotlight, but for all the right reasons, collective, oh, collective, off of you guess. Um, this might also come out in the collective read. Okay. Um, so... Yeah, this might be affecting one or two of you out there, um, but I feel like I just need you to know that you're safe and you're protected. You have ancestors, I wanna say a grandfather or a grandparent that is actually looking over you and is not gonna allow this person to take a muddy step in your direction, okay? Um, I hear period, point blank, and I do see CIA um, here, CIA in the charms. So 
Um, I feel like this person's already being clocked. Okay, um, that is what I have for you. Wow, do I need to clear out that energy <laughs> real fast. My hands are shaking. Um, so that is what I have for you all. Thank you so much for watching, Ophiuchus. If that is not for you, please don't worry yourself over it. This is not in any way, shape, or form to create fear in the situation. It is simply to report on the news and what spirit wants me to sort of get out there. So clearing for you, safety for you, blessings for you. I'm going to light a candle for every Ophiuchus out there right after this. Um, keep us all safe, okay? Until next time, friends. Bye.